Yesterday, Exhale Technologies announced a stock buyback. So what does this mean for the stock value? Hi again, everyone. I hope you are doing really well. Just when I was hoping to distance myself from Exhale's stock in terms of video updates, the next twist in the saga of this stock has been revealed, that being that there will be a stock buyback for up to 10 million of their regular shares. The news was announced during the regular session and saw the stock skyrocket, reclaiming all of its losses from the previous day of trading that it incurred following the earnings miss of Q2, where they reported a loss of $3.22 per share versus the market consensus of an expected $1.30 per share loss. Um, in terms of trading, this meant the stock jumped from its previous close of $1.34 per share and jumped by as much as $0.20 cents or 15% to touch the $1.54 mark before settling down perhaps in part due to the stagnant broader market activity. It is interesting when you look at a five day chart, you can see that following the initial sell off, there was a ramp up in the stock price as the session wore on. Perhaps a sign that there were people in the know that an announcement regarding the buyback was coming <coughs> inside of trading. So before we get all excited about the buyback, it is worth reading the finer print. That being that Excel is planning on executing it over a 24 month period and that they will aim to buy and retire a total of as many as 10 million shares, which would be 200 million shares back in July, aka the old days. Um, so what does this mean for the Excel stock value? Well, this information is all in theory really, as the market really dictates this stuff. So these adjustments I'm gonna go through are based on the buyback occurring all at once and tomorrow which we know will not be the case, it's going to be carried out over a two year period. So currently, Exceller regular stock has a float of 22.1 million shares. This would reduce down to 12.1 million shares if the buyback were fully undertaken. The buyback would result in a reduction of cash held by Exceller of $14.1 million based on the current share value of $1.41 per share. This would mean cash held by the company would reduce from $38.26 million to $24.16 million, and the adjusted share value of cash per share would go from $1.58 to $1.99, as the remaining cash is now being held by fewer shares. As for the tangible book value, currently Excel has a net asset value per share of negative $25.07. This would blow out to negative $46.95 per share, as the debt figure and reduced assets are now being divided among less shares. But the flip side to this is all other assets other than the now diminished cash pile are now more equally held by the shares. As for the share price, the market would dictate this along with future performance of the company. And given the disappointing results the company faced just the other day, it is hard to say what will happen with the company, but an exercise in mathematics based on balances of the stock could see it move to $2.57, which is presenting some serious upside from the current share price of $1.41. Now, hypothetical scenarios aside, it is worth stressing that there is a chance that this 10 million stock buyback will not be fully prescribed to. The wording of the announcement has kind of left it open, giving the board some flexibility, especially if the stock starts to increase further in value based on this news. The fact that the buyback has been announced is perhaps a sign that the company is closer to the sale of some of the non-core assets which they have been looking to offload, including the unnamed business unit that generates $200 million in revenue per year. While such a sale will help tidy up the balance sheet, we need to be mindful that this represents about 20% of the company's overall revenue, so we will be looking at a much smaller Exceller business entity in terms of operations, but perhaps it might make for a more efficient business that will help steer the company back into the green sooner. Now, one thing I do worry about is that while Exceller reported that they had an improved liquidity position, they are going to be using up a significant part of their cash reserves. Clearly, they can cover the cost of the full buyback at the current share price. But if they do not manage to sell the before mentioned mystery asset, it will mean they are going to be strapped for cash. I think likely if that is the case, Excel may halt or slow back their buyback activities. Given that Excel's short interest has largely evaporated recently, any further push up in the stock price is going to be dependent on excitement around the buyback and regular trading moves. Um, now, if the price does start to elevate a fair bit, I wouldn't be surprised if we do start to see some shorts start to creep up again in the stock, given how poorly Excel has performed from a financial point of view. 
but this is all speculation and none of this should be considered investing advice. Um, well, I will leave it at that for this video. What do you guys think about this buyback news? Is it welcomed or do you think it is a little bit premature given that they have just released weaker than expected financial results and are yet to confirm the sale of any major non-core assets as part of their strategy to build back shareholder value? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hopefully Excel gives me a little more breathing room um, with the major announcements to cover, although I somehow suspect this might not be the case. Anyway, until next time everyone, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.